lovely evening here uh, and a request to talk a little bit about pest control which is very timely because I came out this morning and found a little bit of slug damage to my sweet peas which were not looking great in the first place so I was pretty cross and on inspection um, there was a fairly large slug sitting just under there so your first line of defense really is vigilance and if there are many of them pick them off and fling them somewhere uh, and there certainly aren't many around here at the minute because it's so dry um, but if it's wet you may have a harder job and I think sort of barriers are amongst the best things. I use these copper rings around things like beans uh, because it's all very well the book saying well nice healthy plants are the best defence but if they go through the stem of a bean of course that's that and they hate uh, crawling over copper so I do tend to protect the beans with those, but they're pretty expensive uh, and we'll only do a few. So in extremis, I do go to the um, slug kinner that the organic people sell and the RSPB site is the only one they're fond of. It's aluminium sulphate, which uh, if birds or other animals eat the poison slugs and snails will not then poison them. It hasn't got ongoing toxicity. So if you are going to use a slug killer, um, try and make sure it's that one. It's the only one the RSPB is happy with. And then our other big pest are pigeons, uh, which particularly love brassicas. Um, there's a little bit of damage on those, not huge yet, I think. And they also love peas. And with pigeons, frankly, the only approach is a physical barrier. I mean, you can try the sort of glittery things like these um, CDs on, on strings, back-to-back -back redundant CDs for maximum glitteriness, but I think they get used to them. So I've got wires here to keep them off the peas, and I've also used fleece. When the peas were little, I just put a layer of fleece over them so they couldn't get at them. And now they're a bit bigger, they don't seem to be going for them. So those would be my main recommendations. If anyone else has any other pests uh, to talk about, then do get in touch. Have a good weekend.